where the elbows start. Next up, we have the man. Um, he may be internationally renowned singer, and he may sometimes be described as Chicago-based. But anybody who's ever spoken to Michael, or indeed attended one of his concerts, is left in no doubt as to where his heart lies. He was born in Wexford Town and educated in the local Christian Brothers School. Uh, he learned his trade in the vibrant Wexford music and drama scene before getting his big break when he was asked by Larry Fuller to play Bobby Kennedy in the world premiere of JFK. From here, he was to go on to be the lead singer with Riverdance in their American national tour, where he performed at some of the most famous venues in the world. Venues such as Radio City Music Hall in New York and MGM Grand Hotel in Las Vegas, both of which are a far cry from the doom we're on a wet Tuesday. <laughs> um, in 2001, he took on the lead singer role with the new production of Riverdance on Broadway. Um, replacing some little-known Irish singer called Brian Kennedy. <laughs> um, from here on, his, his solo career really took off. His first album, Celt, was released in 15 countries worldwide and was a huge success, reaching number one in the world music charts as far away as Korea. Since then, from his base in Chicago, he has toured extensively throughout the United States, playing to sold-out audiences from San Francisco to New York. On the 2009 album, Aria's Encore, he appeared with Luciano Pavarotti, Andrea Bocelli, Il Devo, and Catherine Jenkins. While his recording of Danny Boy has been downloaded by 5.5 million people on YouTube and described in New York as one of the best recordings of Danny Boy in history, which, having heard countless people attack and <laughs> mostly murder the song, is about as big a compliment as you can possibly get. Um, the recognition continued just this year when he was awarded the IMI Best Irish Tenor Award. Like our other ambassadors, um, even though his career and his profession take him far from Wexford, his native place is never far from his thoughts. Um, he has been for the last couple of months operating his own Wexford tourism office all over Wexford or all over America, handing out visit Wexford literature at many of his concerts. This is the kind of role that that we here in Wexford, we, we just can't appreciate how beneficial it is to us. Um, and I'd like to publicly thank him for that tonight. Um, I sincerely hope also he wasn't one of the people blasting out the fields of Atenray last <laughs> week the summer, because he is, I, I think I've convinced them to sing a song for us later on. So I'd like to put your hands together for Michael Lampard. Space has changed totally in all those years, but essentially it's still the same because the spirit of Wexford is part of this space. And anybody who's from uh, this town or this county grows up as a singer, whether they want to or not. <laughs> and I always took on that mantle as a singer, uh, but never, I think, like most of us here, uh, took it that seriously. It's just part of who I was. And uh, I didn't decide to take the leap of faith and to become a professional singer until some of my friends, who indeed are here, uh, Greg and Marion O'Leary and, and Billy Walsh, uh, who convinced me to take that jump. And uh, I jumped and I still really, despite having some success and despite traveling all over the world, didn't really take myself seriously as a singer. We just don't, it's who we are. And uh, I guess one thing I've always taken more seriously is that I come from here. It's uh, my identity. And so no matter where I go, even after I lost my Wexford accent, <laughs> uh, no matter where I've gone, uh, I've always felt it's, that it's my responsibility to tell people what a great county this is, because honestly, it's absolutely great. And tonight I was just sitting there and I was thinking that everybody probably on this stage 
doesn't realize that they actually have that responsibility too. You are actually ambassadors and it's your job, particularly in this day and age, to go out and tell everybody, particularly in this day and age where it's so easy to sit at your computer and share a photograph, share a story from the Visit Wexford campaign, share what people do in this town and in this county because it's unique, it really is unique. Uh, while I'm here, uh, I wanted to uh, say thank you not only to uh, the County Council and to everybody here involved in tourism and promoting tourism and provo promoting people's uh, interest in our county. I want to thank the people who made me uh, here. Uh, I want to thank my mother and father. My mother gave me my singing voice. She's car people modeled him. <laughs> Great singers. She didn't only give me a singing voice, she also gave me uh, optimism and uh, you need that as a singer when you don't know how you're going to pay for your dinner <laughs> and that's happened, thank God, many years back. Uh, I'd like to thank my father, even though he's from Chitenny. <laughs> he moved here 40 years ago and he realised that it was the better county and I'd like to thank him for uh, making me a realist because you need that as a singer too. Uh, I am so deeply honoured. Uh, tonight, uh, I've always felt like a, I'm an ambassador. Tonight I feel like uh, it's official and uh, Brian Kelly, who's here, uh, uh, put it out on Facebook today that tonight uh, I was going to be knighted. And it, certainly, it certainly feels like that. Thank you so much. Up Wexford!